Okay, in this video, we are going to look at how we go about sharing a total into a ratio. A typical example, okay, will look like this. So can Emily have 16 pounds? They want to share in a ratio of one to three. So my ratio is one to three. So Kelly gets one, Emily gets three parts. The, there is a nice sort of three-step way of doing this. My first job, is to look at how many parts I've got in total. So I'd by adding a ratio, so I've got four parts that are shared between Kelly and Emily. My second step then is to share the 16 pounds by that four, which leaves me with four pounds per part. And the final step is to work out Kelly and Emily's tools. Kelly gets one part, so she gets one lot of four leaves her with four pounds and Emily gets three pots so three lots of four which is 12 okay that's my final answer I don't need to do anything with it one nice way of checking that I um, to see if I've got the right answer four at 12 leaves me 16 and 16 pounds is what I started with so although that can't guarantee you the right answer it's enough to check to see if the numbers that you've got hopefully work Another example then, the ratio of boys to girls in a classroom is 3 to 5 and there are 32 pupils in total. How many boys and girls are in the classroom? So my step is to work out how many parts I'm working with. So 3 out of 5, I've got 8 parts. My second job is 32 divided by 8 and 32 divided by 8 is 4. So if your pupils per part. And then my third thing is to figure out how many boys and how many girls we've got. So boys, they've got three lots of four. They've got 12. And girls have got five lots of the four parts. They've got 20. Okay, 12 out of 20, nice check, leaves me with 30. Okay, another example then. Elephants, Lily and Daisy share 60 buns in a ratio of one to two how many Lily and Daisy each get. So first job, add the ratio. That so with three parts. My second job is to 60 divided by three, which is 20. So I've got 20 buns per part. I need to work out Lily and Daisy's totals. So Lily gets one lot of it which is 20 and Daisy is going to get 2 of 20 which is 40 and again a nice quick check 20 out of 40 leaves me with 60. Okay another example green paint is made by mixing yellow and blue paint in the ratio of 2 to 5 altogether 42 litres are made how much yellow and blue is needed so first job add the ratio so I've got seven parts. My second thing is to do the two litres divided by seven. So that's six litres per part. And then my final step is to work out how much yellow and blue paint we need. So yellow is two lots of six. So that's 12 litres. And for blue, it's five lots of six, which is 30 litres. Again, nice quick check, 12 or 30, leaves an answer of 42. And a final example. Okay, this is a three part ratio, but we work it out exactly the same. So step one, I add all of the bits of the ratio together. Okay, so Bill paints his wall tiles red, blue and white in the ratio of 24, and he paints 72 tiles in total. How many red, how many blue, how many white? So two add three add four. leaves me with nine so that's nine per part or parts number two 72 divided by nine is so it's eight tiles per part and my last thing then I've got things to work out this time I've got red blue and white red is two lots of eight, 
16. Blue is 3 lots of 8 is 24. And white is 4 lots of 8 at 32. And again, a nice quick adding these up with an answer of 72. Okay, so you can use these samples to help you answer the questions on the worksheet. The answers are attached to the worksheet as well, so you can check your work when you've done.